So you guys are part of Equestria history. <laughs> One more time, Kamikaze. Let's go. Are you guys tweeting about this? Are we going to make this one trend? We, we failed. If we can't get Kamikaze, My Little Pony Made Six trending, there's something wrong. Pony fans are the best fans. You guys love like no other. A friend indeed in need is a friend indeed, indeed right? Yeah. But let's get this, let's get this horse to one trick pony show on the road, yeah? Yeah. Alright. I I would like to introduce the moderator, the moderator for tonight, Miss Cricket Lee. Come on down, Cricket. Give Cricket a round of applause. I would like to introduce Miss Rarity herself.
Going on. Ninety dollars. Hundred dollars. Does anyone else want to model it? Do you want to model it, just in case? Okay, just seeing if we can get more than a hundred. Ashley will be modeling this season's <laughs> autographed umbrella. That girl rocks it. Yeah. Who knows what she's wearing behind? Oh, now we do. <laughs> Children's show. A hundred dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the can't see whoever. <laughs> thank you guys and Grayson's family. Thank you. Me too. Um, and I was just trying to contain myself 
and you actually, always do the thing with the point, you're like, my little pony. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, exactly. Were you there? <laughs> I was doing it this morning. I was like, my little pony. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, and then um, and then I was lucky enough to get um, a part on the show, which was awesome. Two parts. Yeah, two parts. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of the same as Andrea. We we're on the same age. We grew up with My Little Pony, playing with them. My sisters and I would go on. Yeah, we created little worlds in our rooms, and yeah, I was thrilled to get parts on the show. And who knew that it was going to be yeah. like this would happen? This was never in our minds at any point. So. for me, I was in Australia studying hopping mice, and uh, they had accepted me as part of their gang and given me their gang colors, and I was wearing the headband. At night, I used to sneak away to Ayers Rock and stand on the mountain and do my moves, a little chop socky of my own devising. And uh, one day, the Hasbro helicopter flew overhead, and they said, that is our rarity, and I went, okay. <laughs> Getting into your voices, because the voices that even though they deal with some, uh, see, she's so excited. I love her. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> because I mean, some of the situations that that you know that the MLP gang deal with kind of can sometimes be you know going into like being a young adult, walking, patient, sharing, and but you have to keep that childlike innocence to it. So when you were approaching your voices, you know, did you were you channeling like one of your friends' kids, or nieces or nephews, or did you just kind of do a whole, like, I'm going to try it this way, and now I'm going to try it this way, and maybe this way. It's kind of what we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for for uh, Applejack, I, I tried to make her somewhere between Miley Cyrus and, um, and Reba McIntyre. <laughs> so, I don't know. She kind of just, like, sat somewhere in between, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what about Derpy who well, I, the voice has changed a lot since the old days. That's where it used to live. Kind of there. I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and, and it's it's moved. It's changed, and uh, and so I hope you like it when you hear it again. <laughs> Where I bought a t-shirt from there that says, don't ask me, I signed an NDA. <laughs> I just wear it wherever I go now. We all of us need that shirt. Yeah. 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 Geek to wear, here somewhere. <laughs> uh, now, I've always been curious about this, and I've always asked um, VO actors and actors being an actor myself. So now, let's say you walk in, you walk into the studio one day, and they said, hey, just to mess around. You can play any other character but your own. You can just play that character all day today for a cartoon, for like one of the episodes. Which one would you pick and why? Well, can I answer that? Well, it's happened to many, many times that somebody said, you could have any of your girlfriend's husbands. <laughs> <laughs> or children. Which would you pick? <laughs> and how long would you keep them? <laughs> and uh, it's a bit the same question, because they're already occupied. <laughs> Somebody's already filling that role, and they do it quite well, and I don't want to be beaten to a pulp. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I'd want to be Granny Smith, because she kind of says whatever she wants to say. <laughs> All the time, Tabitha will just like make up random words and phrases. They're like, yeah, that's fine. They're like, that's, yeah, that's fine. Moving on. <laughs> Granny Smith kind of reminds me of like Slap the Squirrel, only less vulgar. Because <laughs> you can't have a cartoon without one character. It's like, get off my line. I don't want you. 
The only character that I can even, and I'm embarrassed because she's right here in front of me, Dear Princess Celestia. <laughs> the only thing I can do is like turn around going, Dear Princess Celestia, that's the only one I know. <laughs> But now, you guys, you guys, you ladies, not guys, you ladies all have extensive experience. Uh, and you, you, you know, now My Little Pony's not all you do, like Terry, you did Lollipop Chainsaw and a number of other games. And, and, and you've done like rats in like all kinds of anime. So, you know, is it, at, at some point, do you, do you find like a break? Like, does your brain just go snap? And I kind of need a little break. Tabitha, does your brain ever go snap? <laughs> Perfectly intact. Ever since the day I first opened my mouth and the noise came out, I have been perfectly sane. Thank you, bro. Uh, one thing I do want to ask you about, because my bronies are in the house, right? Yeah. Uh, there were two documentaries, and, and it's kind of funny because all of you have been in one or the other. There was, or no, you haven't. I thought you were in the bronies one. Wasn't that you? Uh oh. <laughs> So there was the bronies, and then there was a brony tail. And now with the bronies, has anyone seen bronies, the documentary? Yeah! Okay, because I, re I remember specifically there was one guy in there who, uh, he had Asperger's. And watching My Little Pony and seeing how Rainbow Dash can sometimes get when things aren't going exactly the way she wants them to. And she kind of has a little freak out, you know, like, like most, most kids will do. It's like, I have this plan. Wait, what's that? That cannot be in the plan! So, when you see guys like that that are like, you know, My Little Pony is with my Asperger's or with my social anxiety disorder, you know, does, does it help with the, because there's such a, a really lame stigma around guys who like My Little Pony. So how does it feel to know when you, when you meet guys like this, you get fan letters from these gentlemen or from their parents? You know, what's the first thing that goes through your mind? Well, honestly, it's why we made the documentary, because through our conventions, we've met so many amazing bronies, and there's like hot army bronies with like Pinkie Pie tattoos singing songs. <laughs> I love the army bronies. And, um, you know, it's from little kids to older guys and girls, and we've never had any bad experiences with them. They're the loveliest fandom, and of course, every fandom has like weird people, but that's every fandom, and I personally love the weird in this fandom, and I also love that it's brought communities and people together. Like you say, a lot of people have some level of Asperger's and say this show has helped me communicate, it's helped me make friends, it's helped me not be depressed, and I'm so proud to be a part of that, and I really, really do love this community. Woo, woo. Yeah. She loves you, you guys. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh my gosh. I, I kind of use that voice with my little ch uh, chihuahua. I love you. <laughs> All right, you ladies ready to field some questions? Yeah! Okay, well we have a very excited lady right up front here. Because she's been singing and clapping. You want to ask a question? No? There's a mic right there. Do you want to ask the ladies a question? No, her. Look at you. Do you want to ask the question? Go ahead, ask them. What's your name? Raina. Raina, and how old are you? She's set. What's your question? Why did you name my love for me? What is your question? Why did you make my little pony for? What did you make my little pony Why for? Why did we make my little pony for? <laughs> What's good question. We made my little pony for many reasons. <laughs> We, we did it, we made it to make you happy. That's the only reason. Yeah. 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 Woo. Who's next? <laughs> okay, what's your name? Danielle. Danielle, and how old are you? Ted. And do you have a question would you like to ask the ladies? Yeah, Tara, is Raven a brony? Have <laughs> <laughs> you seen her play with her pretty Pegasus? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? She asked if Rainbow's a brony. No, no. Raven. Raven. Yeah. Raven. Raven. I mean, don't tell anybody, but yeah. Okay, well there's a there's a brave brony right there. Stretching his arm out, I see him right there. Yeah, I'm looking at you, striped shirt. He's like, what? So, um, 
<laughs> so, so wondering how, how, how long uh, are, um, how have you been boyfriend, Tara? How long what? How long have you been, you know, voicing the billions of characters? How long have you been since I was 13? So a good five years. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that's, that's very, very impressive right there. <laughs> okay, we have one behind you. He's so enthusiastic. Hi. Okay. What's your name? Juan. Juan. What is your, how old are you, Juan? Eleven. So you're eleven, Juan? <laughs> okay. Pony, what's your question, love? Are you going to make a new season of My Little Pony? There has to be a new season. I don't know. What do you think? Should we? I don't know. Yeah. What do you think, Come over here a little bit so I can see if y'all are over here. So let me know if I'm in Frank. What season are we on anyway? Okay, so we have a new Brody. And then we have some little Pega sisters over here, so we'll get there. This big orange dude right here. Are you Wreck-It Ralph? I am. That's Wreck-It Ralph. Awesome. <laughs> um, I was asked to prom two years ago using ponies, and I was wondering if it would be possible to read the note for the characters. And the characters oh voices. yeah, I saw that. It's fun. You want us to read it as? As the characters. As the characters. Yeah. Please. Yeah. those of you who didn't hear, he was asked to prom oh, through a cute. note written by our characters. Oh, let me see. Secretly his prom date. Uh, Alright, I think you're first, Dashie. There you go. <clears throat> Dear Princess Lester crossed out. Victor! <laughs> so, I know that we're pretty cool friends now, even if you're about 20% cooler than me. <laughs> and, uh, what incarnation? They're there is fancy smancy thing. Oh, I get it. Okay. And what tarnation? There's this fancy schmancy thing called prom coming up, and you know what it? You know what it'd be doggone fun? <laughs> Tip tap. What would be doggone fun, Rashi? Oh, um, uh, there's me. Oh, um, just every part of it. Oh, the gowns, the ballroom. The Queen Mary? Queen Mary? Is she in a question? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that just sound divine, darling? <laughs> but there's a small problem. All the books say that it's customary for Mary to have a date to escort her to these kinds of things, but I don't have one yet, and the clock is ticking! <laughs> Show me your toy. Okay. 
come on up. He's like showing me his like Dragon Ball or something. <laughs> I just want to say it's an honor to meet you guys. It's just I'm not worthy to be in your presence because you're just you're amazing. I love my little pony. I'm not afraid to say it. And Teen Titans rocks, Raven. <laughs> You got waffles in that box for me. Cintos! My waffles. Okay, we've got two little ladies, Here three little ladies, ladies. Awesome. and then we got some dudes over there. Who's, I see you dudes. I see you boys. Don't worry. So when you're voice acting... Hang on a second. Miss Speedy Pants, what is your name? Allie. And how old are you? Do you not want to say? I'm 18. You're eight. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm What's your question? Is it weird to think sometimes you're fighting against yourself when you're doing two characters? You're looking right at me. <laughs> Do I look freaked out by it? Because I know because I know Rainbow Dash and Applejack will go against each other. Oh, yeah. That's the same person. <laughs> Yeah, you feel a little bit crazy sometimes, <laughs> but you get used to it, and then it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's definitely, you gotta switch your... Uh, Rainbow Dash wants to beat Applejack in an Iron Pony competition. And Applejack's not gonna let her do that because she's the best pony. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's, you know, you switch back and forth, it's easy. Right, guys? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna come right back to you, I promise. What is your name, little missus? Katrina. And how old are you, Miss Katrina? Ten. Woo! What's your question? What's Andrea? Who is Andrea's favorite pony? Me? <laughs> My favorite pony? <laughs> <laughs>
She was talking to me. Oh. What's your name, bro? I'm Sabra. I'm calling. Right on. What's your question, sir? Uh, so, Tara, um, what is your response to the rumors of uh, fifth season Twilight, uh, the voice actor being replaced with Nicolas Cage? <laughs> That would be awesome. Wow, yeah, I'd, I'd have to give up the reins to him. That would be... Well, we know that Morgan Freeman took over for Bubbles, so... And <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have, a, we have a, another brony, and then I will get you two ladies. Let's get this gentleman and the one behind him. Yes. Hi. Uh, this one's for Tara and Tabitha. Each of your characters has a pretty decent mental breakdown throughout the series. Which one do you think is more unstable? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> I've been putting in question. I think it must be you, dear. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I like when Twilight gets crazy, but there's really no question as to who's more unstable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Slim Shady, what's your question? I, I like Slim Shady. Ain't nothing wrong with him. It's just for her. Uh, question for Captain. Hold it to your face. Don't you start a new project Yo, hold the mic to your face. You do. <laughs> hold the mic to your face. Tabitha. Yes. Is there anything that you can say about your new project or? It's called Kong. And it's uh, the, I think it's the first show, it's the first animated show that's going to be on Netflix. Oh, nice. And a lot of, uh, a lot of the people who are in My Little Pony are also in it. Sam Vincent, Lee Tokar, Shannon Chan Kent. Uh, and I'm sure sundry others as we roll along. Oh. All right, thank you. All right, we got the little ladies right here. The one has got her hand up. She's been so patient. Yes, we got those three. I got you covered. I got you, girls. Um, you. What's your name? Joy. Joy. I like Joy. How old are you, Joy? Ten. Who's your favorite pony? Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yeah. So what's your question, Miss Joy? Are your um, personalities like your characters? Good question. Good question. Tabitha? <laughs> My personality is just a bit like Muggy. I like to take my teeth out at night. And uh, even when I find the girls getting hissy on me, I don't throw them at them some of the time. And I sometimes force them. What? Next. <laughs> okay, who's next? Oh. Woo! Okay, oh, calm down. We, we've got little ones, and then I will get to you. Woo! Woo! All right, what's what's your name, little one? Uh, Genesis. Genesis. Nice. And how old are you, and what is your question? Uh, I'm 10. You are 10. God, 10 is so big these days. When I, To me, 10 is still like, I'm 10. Now it's like, I'm 10. 10 is a new 20. 10 is a new 20. 10 doesn't get carded in bars, but I still do. <laughs> What's your question? When you guys got your like first scripts, like of the only first but when you first started the show, did you ever wanted another pony? Like did you ever wanted another character? I wanted to oh. be Spike. I wanted to be the baby dragon. But <laughs> Kathy like, does a damn good job of that. <laughs> so no, I, I like I like my ponies. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good with my ponies. How about you guys? Yeah, I think we're good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, there's a little, there's a little, looks like a little Naruto back there. Yeah, there's a teeny tiny Naruto. What's your name, little one? Could you do the um, Buttercup voice? Terra Strong? <laughs> oh, Buttercup? Do you mean Bubbles? Buttercup. <laughs>
Mr. Woo Woo. Over here. All right, what's your name? <laughs> okay, my name's Adam Scott. That's my stage name, because I'm an actor. I am but, uh, Scott, but isn't there an Adam Scott already? <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay, so this this, uh, this question this question here is for uh, for Twiley. So uh, um, there's a lot of mixed opinions among all the bronies about uh, this guy named Flash Sentry. What is? <laughs> he hasn't got it yet. Okay, what is your opinion about him? Every girl likes a bad guy, right? Oh. Well uh, said. I I would say um, you know she's just. She's taking things slow. She's checking it all out. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> We're not ready yet. <laughs> there is a, there's a lovely girl in silver back here. If we can squeeze back there. What's your name and say it loud and proud. Sarah. What's your question, Sarah? This is all for you. How old are the ponies? <laughs> Excellent question, Sarah. As I spit out my soda. Ten. <laughs> how, how old is like Applejack and Rainbow Dash? I mean, I don't know. No they, they, they've got to be like, like in their twenties because they all live alone. I was gonna say, right? yeah. Rainbow, oh, if Twilight Spark was ten, then like she Granny is like thirty. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's old. <laughs> Maybe it's different in pony years. It's so funny because typically when you're doing a new animated show, they'll give you a character description and she'll, they'll say, this character is 10. This character, but they've never done that. No. Never. Maybe we're just ageless like the actresses that play them. Who <laughs> uh, we got? We got someone back here behind them. Can you guys squeeze in? Let them in a little bit. Because you got your questions, so let the little ones come in. Hi, everybody over there. You're not being ignored. Hello. Nice to see you. What's your name? Dave. Dave. What's your question? Uh, besides the main six, who are your favorite background ponies? Ooh. Run long. Uh, there are no small parts, only small dressing rooms. Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy is my favorite background pony. I look down at my phone for two seconds and I hear, oh, that's not good. Okay, we got one back here. We got a, actually, I think he's even in pony gear. Ooh, we do. We got some pony. Simple. What's your name, sir? My name is Adam. Adam, and what would you like to ask the ladies? This is a question for all of you. Look at this. They're going to answer for you. Good job. What is it like working with Discord? <laughs> I don't know. I think Chad's the only one who's actually worked with him. Yeah, I mean, we, I, so John Delancey and I are in LA, so we don't get to work as a group recording. And I actually haven't recorded a session with him, so we don't know. But we assume he's pretty genius. I mean, yeah, he's pretty genius. He was great to work with on the documentary. He's, he's an absolute doll. And I freaked out when I saw him on Breaking Bad. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. I, was, I didn't even know he was on it because I like binged it. Did you guys know that? Yeah, I did. Oh my I god, he was amazing. He's a really great guy. Okay, let's see. Well, this guy, yeah, let's, let's talk to these guys because we had some ladies and then I promise I see you. I've looked at you. Not in that weird way, but I know you're there. I shouldn't have said I've looked at you. I'm so sorry. Wrong thing to say. What's your name? Uh, my name's Jacob. Jacob, hold your mic just a little bit more to your face. There you go. All right, Jacob, go ahead. I just have a, uh, a question referring to the cover of the pamphlet that we were given on Kamikaze. Uh, for the Guardians of the Galaxy crossover, uh, is this going to be an actual thing? <laughs> Please tell me I it's wish. a crossover thing. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be Definitely. Well, we'll try to make it happen for you. Yeah. Wow, I wish James was here. We'll put a request Was he here before? No, he was in Japan still. He directed Lollipop Chainsaw, by the way. I, oh, that's And nice. I called him a gonorrhea face. I know. That's <laughs> and now he's a big time director. You're like, sorry about the gonorrhea face thing. I actually didn't apologize, but I did tell him that he can write his own ticket, and I was really proud of him. Yeah. Now, well, I remember that he put the little clip in me. You! And I 
everything that you do just cracks me up for some reason. The Lollipop Chainsaw, which is a little old for some of you, was an excellent game. Oh, uh, hang on, you've already asked a question, so let's be patient. We're going to go with the little one in front right here. What's your name? Kaylin. Yay, so what is your question, little one? Uh, I have a question for the person that looks just like Bernadette. <laughs> 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 So, how do you do a voice that's crazy and really shy at the same time? I don't know, I just do it, I just go crazy, I just talk really, really fast. And then I'm crazy! And then I'm crazy! I don't know. How many times do you get with like, that's for a minute? <laughs> a lot, and even more when I wear my glasses, which I already had. You guys should do a movie. You could do like your own version of Freaky Friday. Alright, who's next? Uh, let's go with, with Little Rainbow right here. What's your name? Janae. Janae. Janae, okay, so you're very soft spoken, so be sure to speak into the mic, okay? Be loud and proud. I have a question for all of you. What is your favorite candy bar crusader? What was the question? Our favorite candy mark crusader. Oh, okay, there we go. Good question. Thank you, Belle. Oh, that's Do I have to say Alpha Blue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all cute. Yeah, I don't have a favorite. <laughs> We've got one I mean, right here, and then we'll come we're back, back to you with the, with the Dark Knight mask. This one right here, the other Naruto. Hang on, guys. Okay, what's your name? Viamaya. All right, so I'm not even going to have to tell you to be loud. Go ahead and ask your question. <laughs> If you get to have a cutie mark, what would it be? Your own. Well, we do have cutie marks, right? No, your friends really have all drawn us our OCs. What do you have? Mine's like a musicy, nerdy thing. So you don't like it? No, I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's yours? No, I mean your personal one. Personal, like yeah. on our own cheese. Yeah. Do you guys want to go to cutie marks after this? Or yeah, yeah. 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 Mine's a heart with a microphone in it. Do you have one? I oh, think everywhere that there's not globes, there is a cutie mark. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about that too deeply. <laughs> Maybe it's just a pipeline with an X through it. <laughs> we have time for two more questions, and I did promise her, so I'll let you go, and then I'll let you go with the Batman cap. What's your name? Jasmine. Isn't your name Holly, sweetie? <laughs> so, do you guys ever use your voices and take advantage of it, like when you're ordering pizza? Um, yeah. Heck yeah, do you guys? In case you didn't hear, she asked if they ever use any of their voices to order things like pizza. I, I, lo yeah. I love to mess with telemarketers. My kids just <laughs> laugh and laugh. Like, I'll say, you know, are you interested? Hello? <laughs> you have any love? Then I just keep going, and we're like, you put your mouth like, you're funny. <laughs> I use my voice all the time. Do you guys? Never. Liar. <laughs> yeah, I use it to like prank my parents sometimes. Yeah. My mom used to work at an elementary school and I would call all the time and pretend to be like a, a kid who was like pissed off about something or like a parent of a kid who was like, Jimmy got came home and there was poop all over his pants and you wouldn't help him. I was like, <laughs> She would get all worked up because she was in secondary and then, yeah. That was, I, I like to piss off my mom. <laughs> I pretend not to be able to speak English frequently. <laughs> What's your name, dude? My name is Andrea. Oh. Uh, I'm a dude. You're a dude. He's a dude. We're all dudes. Hey, yeah. what's your question? Um, what is going to happen after Twilight got her castle? All yeah. kinds of stuff. So many. Yeah, oh, a whole gonna... season of stuff. <laughs> she's gonna have books. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Have books. And adventures. She's gonna walk around. And friendships. She's gonna and have magic. people over. Magic. Spike will be there. Yeah. You guys are coming over to party. You'll have to watch and see. Okay, I lied. So we have the Littlest Brony over here, and then we have Tiny Sailor Moon over here. So we're gonna go with Littlest Brony, and then Little Misses, and then we're gonna have to close it out. What's your name, little dude? Um, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. His name's Andrew. What's your name? Uh, 
your question, little dude. How did you make Rainbow Rock? How did we make the show? Rainbow Rocks. Did, did you, you like, like it? it? <laughs> did you like it? Yeah? We just did it like we do any other session. We went in and recorded our lines as our characters, and then the amazing animators drew us. Except it took longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more question from the smallest thing in the Why did... Um, no, 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 don't. What's your name? Gazelle. Gazelle. You're going to ask them, because I don't know any of the answers. They do. Why did um, Rainbow Dash come out in the Transformers movie? <laughs> oh, somebody was paying attention. She asked why Rainbow Dash came out in the Transformers movie. I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Is, it, is this real? Yeah. I guess I need to watch the Transformers movie. I turn into a what? You turn into a gun, apparently. Rainbow Dash does? <laughs> I don't know anything about this. Uh, I don't know if I want to be turned into a gun. <laughs> it wasn't my voice. Wait, okay, well I'm gonna have to figure this out. You got stumped. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, well... Yeah, it wasn't like a giant rainbow dash. Yeah. Like, rah, 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 rah. I'm pretty <laughs> joking about it. I'm not, uh, yeah. I'm not that into guns. I'm actually like flying really, really, really fast, but not flying bullets. <laughs> okay, well, now we're going to have to say goodbye to the ladies, but before we do, Tara, Andrea, Ashley, and Tabitha, you guys sound like a, a you should have like a, a cool coven, like, MOP, we do. which is a uh, beautiful. <laughs> we do. Uh, we put spells on all of you. Love spells. Woo! What projects do you have coming up that you can talk about before we go? We'll start with Miss Tara. I'm um, still doing um, a bunch of cartoons that I just realized I'm not allowed to tell because they haven't been announced yet. Any truth to the rumor about the Lollipop Chainsaw sequel? I haven't heard that, but I hope that's true. Me too. Um, I don't remember if I'm allowed to say anything. I'm doing so much. Like I, I said, that. you need that t-shirt. Don't ask me. I signed an NDA. Yeah, sorry. Can't tell you. But she loves you. But I love you. Yeah. And you'll like it. Um, Ashley and I have some new crack bands coming out. Yeah, we do. At some point. Oh. Oh. It's a Pac-Man's in the room right now. <laughs> that was the noise that precedes breaking an NDA. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, yeah, Pac-Man is a thing, which is great. Uh, oh, Lilith's Pet Shop. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Uh, Mike Baxter's just going to be taking care of lots of pets. And very excited about it. Uh, and what else? Oh, there's a a DreamWorks series that I'm not supposed to talk about, but the bomb just dropped. It's coming up, I think, in spring 2015, so keep your eyes peeled. You won't know what's coming. Yeah. I think mean, that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, besides Kong, which will be out on Netflix, I uh, can't tell you about anything I'm working on right now, but Endangered Species and Kate and Min Min and Lolly Rocks are all coming out oh, yeah, uh, around now. So, uh, Is that yeah. happening? You know what? Yeah, we're having pickups next week. But yeah, yeah they're, see, they're watching it in Australia. Right Lolly now. Rocks is cool. It's yeah. about these princesses that are from other planets. Yeah. That do crazy things. And sing in a band. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, did you brothers and pregnant sisters and all supporters of everything MLP? Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! All right. So the count Say thank you. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. No, thank you guys. Tell us wrong.